Hey everyone, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to prepare a fusion file for 3D printing and then how to create the one third size coaster so you can 3D print that. So you're just going to start with your file and then you want to be in the design workspace. There you want to go to the tool tab over here, the make option, and then the 3D print. Here the first thing you're going to want to do is uncheck down here under output the send a 3D print utility and then you want to select your part. Once you've selected your part, you want to change the format to STL and the units to millimeters. If preview mesh is already selected, leave it. If not, make sure it is selected. So again, you should be in STL, millimeters, preview mesh selected, and nothing selected in output. Then you're going to click OK, and you want to save it to your downloads as whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to name this Coaster. Click Save, and then go to your Downloads folder and make sure it's where it should be. So we'll go here, Downloads, and it should be right there. Next, we're going to head over to Cura, and I'll show you how to create what's going to become your default IME 100 settings. So, go ahead and open Cura, which should open to this blank base here, and then go ahead and head up to this upper left-hand corner and click the down arrow. We're going to be adding what I already have in here. So, go to Add Printer, Add Non-Network Printer, scroll down to you see Creality 3D, Click the down arrow on that, and then you're looking for this Creality CR 10S. You're going to select that, click Add, and then none of these settings need to be changed, so click Next, and it should show up in the spot. Mine has a number two because I already have a Creality 10S printer. Next, go up to the upper right hand corner and click this down arrow. This will open your print settings. Then you're going to go to the right hand corner here and click custom and that'll get you to the custom settings. This is where we're going to start customizing our settings as the name says. So first you want to change the wall thickness, increase it to 1.2. Oops. This is going to make the print stronger. Then you're going to scroll down to top and bottom thickness and you also want to increase that to 1.2. Scroll down again and leave infill alone, but go to material and change printing temperature to 210 degrees Celsius. Then, next one down, build plate temperature to 60 degrees Celsius. Next one down, speed, print speed to 80 millimeters per second. And then click the three lines right here to go to the advanced speed settings. Then you want to find initial layer speed. You can look it up or you can just look down and it should be right here. Add that, click the click the check mark, and then it'll appear in this section. You want to change the initial layer speed to 10 millimeters per second. Once that's finished, we're going to go to the standard quality at the top click the down arrow to the right, and create profile from current settings. Then you get to name whatever name it whatever you want. I'll name it IME 100 default, and since I already have this setting in itself, I'm going to add tutorial here. Click OK, and now you have that. Now the last thing we have to do in settings is, after you exit out, scroll down in here, click Generate Support, and then change the Support Overhang Angle to 66 degrees. Alright, so once we have the settings saved, we're going to import our Fusion file into Cura. To do that, you go to the file in the upper left hand corner, and double click whatever you named it. it shows up. Now, to move around in Cura, you're going to use your right mouse button for rotation, your middle mouse button for panning, and then you can scroll inwards, scrolling upwards, scrolls in, scrolling 
downward scrolls out. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go to this bottom right hand corner and click slice. And then click preview. And this is a lot like the simulator in Fusion, so if I go to the beginning, um, you can click play and watch it 3D print your coaster. You can watch the whole thing if you want. We will not be doing that. All right, so then you're going to save your file, preferably somewhere you can find it, so maybe back to your downloads, and however you would like to name it that you can remember and can find. Once you've saved it, you would just transfer the file to a micro SD card and insert the card into printer to let your coaster print. All right, so we're just gonna save this, and then the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to turn this into the one third size to print for points. All right, so you're just gonna click on the coaster, go over here to scale, and change the 100 to 33%. Click enter, and all three of them will change. From here, you would just slice it and save the code as you would with the uh, full size one. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.